for the classification, this is my topic. So, uh, marine fungi was estimated to be 1,500 in 1996, estimated again 10,000. This is estimated number. And in 2011, Professor Jones estimated 7,000 to 10,000 marine fungi. And from that one, it's based on the um, number we have in uh, of marine fungi. So they extrapolate the data and come up with a range of 7,000 to 10,000. And uh, here are the data that has been like listed all the uh, marine fungi. And from 1,112, Currently, in, in what we are doing, we have 1,901 uh, marine fungi, and you can access this one to the marinefungi.org website. We incorporate all the updates of uh, marine fungal classification there, and when we found like new species or revision of certain place, placement of taxa, or that taxa was uh, uh, were, uh, raised, to a higher level or rank. So we update the marine fungi. Now we have seven phyla, 22 classes, 88 orders, and 1,901 species, but still counting. I'm still revising the number. Maybe next uh, week or next two weeks, I we have additional numbers. So we have 789 from the previous report. And when we compare to the estimated number of marine fungi, we only know 19% of marine fungi. And it's quite interesting. And if you wanted to be part of us that working on the classification of marine fungi and finding new species in marine environment, you can join our lab soon, maybe. I'm inviting all of you. Um, for the marine fungi, we publish also the data on the occurrence and geographical distribution of mangrove fungi. This is very important. So the definition, because some people are asking like, oh, what is mangrove fungi? Maybe mangrove fungi are from terrestrial environment. <clears throat> Excuse me, Paul. Oh, Mike Enrique, sorry. So mangrove fungi refers to those marine fungi documented from various mangrove substrates. Be careful, we put marine fungi. Sometimes they're asking a lot and well, just ignore. And people are, I mean, people, us, sorry, us collected algae, different substrates in marine environment. I discussed this in the introductory part already, so I will not discuss more. And they are, uh, the distribution and occurrence is actually determined by different factors. For example, temperature, salinity, interaction, amplitude, et cetera, et cetera. And they are mainly uh, composed of filamentous fungi, but we have uh, a poorly studied data on chytridiomycota and mucoromycota. Chytrids and mucor are basal fungi. They are basal fungi because when you run phylogenetic analysis, they go down at the basal part of your tree because they are ancient. And some of them are very good, uh, uh, what is that? Area also to study, but my friend said it's very difficult to cultivate. And we try to do more uh, collection if we, and hmm, he has a good uh, morphology also. Let's see in the next few years. Uh, so these are the representative of mangrove fungi. Here you can see from NIPA. Parang nung, nung una yung NIPA ginagawa lang natin sa Sa ating, for example, gusto mo magkaroon ng bahay kubo, NIPA. But here we studied the morphology of aquatic fungi NIPA. So here you can see the different uh, fungi from different genera. This is uh, Longicorpus. This is Striatigutula. Uh, we introduced my, not me, but my senior introduced this, a new family, Striatigutula C, from the two collections she had, Dr. Sheng Nanjang. And we have also marine uh, sordariumycid. Marine sordariumycids, Dr. Devadada, my good, very good senior, also studied the mangrove, uh, mangrove sordariumycids and mangrove dotidiumycids. These are pictures from India. See here, these are new species, new species. The are yellow, oh, very beautiful. They are beautiform. And as you can see, they have also sheet. This is uh, vaginatispora micro aromatispora. 
And oh, this Sergiadella. Uh, this is Pontoporea mangrovi. He introduced this as a new species. Very beautiful photo play. For the taxonomic classification of mangrove fungi, uh, from 625, we listed 850 species of uh, mangrove fungi, under 413 genera, 161 families, and 17 classes. But most of them are composed of ascomycota. Very few are from the basal plate. Maybe from um, mucor, only one species. Yeah, very few, less than five or less than 10. So these are quite interesting also because um, some uh, marine mycologists doing, uh, what is that, uh, next generation sequencing techniques, they found out that kite reads are very, um, I mean, very dominant in their in their data when, do, when they do the, uh, uh, next generation or high throughput sequencing. And it's interesting, but we need to have a, a good the morphological data also so we can connect if uh, they are striving there or maybe they're just uh, remnants of, what is that, remnants of the past maybe? For the classes, of course, usually they're composed of sordariumycetes and dothigumycetes. For the order, we have Pleiasporales, the major, and for the family, we have the Halosperiaceae with 94 species. For the country, in the Atlantic, we have we discovered Devadata et al. 2021 discovered 81 species only can be found in Atlantic, and the species from Pacific 302, Indian is 206, and common species here, and. Uh, here are the common species, 109 species are common to, maybe they have like geographical distribution or maybe they can be uh, discovered soon in the different habitats. Uh, sorry, okay, these are the substrates. Usually uh, study is on submerged decaying wood and mostly from uh, the host Avicennia. This is Avicennia marina followed by Rhizophora mangle and Rhizophora piculata. You can study more, I mean, read more about the different taxon. We listed them all in the occurrence and geographical distribution of mangrove fungi. You can see all the taxa there, their distribution, their substrate, and further information of mangrove fungi. I invite you to read the paper. This is a very good uh, paper. 